Our new model of care is quite exciting, I think. Um, we have in the Netherlands Parkinson Net, which is a community-based network of specialized, mainly allied health therapists, so physios, OT, speech and language, dietitians, nurses, working in the community so that patients can get access to an expert well-trained in Parkinson's and who sees many, many patients with that condition. So you build up more and more expertise. That model is already good and cost-effective, but we were finding that we were missing out on treatment in the patient's home and there was no good connection between the community network and the hospital. So the new model, and we call it the PRIME model, it's proactive and integrated management and empowerment of patients with Parkinson's, is really integrated care, starting literally in the patient's own homes with education of patients, regular self-monitoring using wearable sensors and digital diaries, which then feed into a dashboard that's managed by a personal case manager and if all traffic lights are green, you're not coming to the hospital. You'll just be healthy and fit at home. If one traffic light turns orange, not red, orange, the personal case manager will address you proactively, not wait for the fire to go awry, but to kill the fire before it grows bad and address your problems. Either she does it him or herself, or he or she will refer you to someone else who can solve the problem. So to address problems readily, and to navigate patients in the jungle of healthcare. The third layer then is, of course, the regional Parkinson net, which we already have in place. And then the fourth layer is the university medical center, which is more remote. And we don't want all the patients to come to the university center, but we want to bring the knowledge from the center into the patient's homes. So we will have a telemedicine team to support the local physicians, the local nurses, the local physios in becoming even better. So instead of bringing the patient to us, we bring the knowledge to the patient. And I think that new prime model, which will be proactive, integrated, completely patient-centered and home-based, is exciting and that will be our new future. Model. So what we expect to see for patients is greater self-efficacy, a better control of your life. I think one of the things that really touches me whenever I meet people with Parkinson's is that you're, you've lost control over your life and what we want is to take patients charge of their own lives again. So greater empowerment of patients is number one. On a more, at a higher level, we hope to see better health because now with better access to better care, to specialists, um, we expect to see fewer disease complications like hip fractures or other, you know, um, uh, debilitating injuries. Um, and of course we expect to see that patients will have to visit the hospital less frequently. So we expect to see fewer admissions to the hospital, but also fewer outpatient visits. Anything patients can do with self-management or with the support of, of a nurse um, will alleviate the pressure on the hospital. So those will be things that we're expecting to see in the fairly short term. So people have been very enthusiastic about this whole idea. and. The interesting thing is when you when you describe it, I think it's a model that just makes perfect sense. And one of the missions in our team is to build a healthcare system where people are treated the way you would like to be treated yourself. So I think for patients, this is ideal because it empowers them. It's actually ideal for nurses who are really put in their strength and given the central role in healthcare that I think they deserve and the recognition. Um, it's a bit difficult maybe initially for neurologists who used to be the gods in healthcare and they were routinely seen by the, by the, by the patients. Now it's nurse-led care instead of doctor-led care. And it may be that your patients are now managed for 90% by the nurse instead of by you. So you're becoming one of the team players instead of the god of the team. And I think that's a key change. Um, Governments are obviously very interested and the payers, the insurers are obviously very interested because I think this model will be better. That's what's driving me, but I'm actually convinced that this will be cheaper for the society and thereby we can keep our healthcare system, which is exploding, affordable for future generations. The final thing I'd like to say is that I'm actually quite curious to see how patients will handle this because some patients brought up in the old fashioned way might still expect to see their doctor. And we're going to tell them that maybe the doctor is not, the nece not necessarily the best person to always see. So we're expecting a behavioral change, not just from the professionals, but also from patients. 
And I can't predict how it will go, but I'm curious to see what it will do.